and you just sit in awe sometimes, you just look around. For more than two years, Janaris Robinson's mom, Chereen Duncan, has waited to return home. Being a parent, not having a house for him to come home to and able to see him come home to his own room, I'm excited and happy. It's been great just, you know, just to get a chance to come back home and, you know, just see how the house has come along from, you know, two years ago and just seeing her happy. That's most importantly what I'm uh, grateful for and thankful for. Uh, on October 10th, 2018, as Hurricane Michael made landfall in Panama City, the destruction was widespread, including the property that housed four generations of Duncan's family. Devastation. <laughs> um, I think I kind of like lost it for two weeks, you know, just seeing that everything that we had material that was in that house, we lost everything except for the overnight bags that we took away with us. Shock and despair were soon replaced with hope as Robinson helped start a NCAA-approved GoFundMe, raising more than $100,000 for the family's home to be rebuilt. I didn't know we was gonna get this much money. I just wanted, you know, to, to get something, just start us back and get us back on our feet. But, you know, luckily we were blessed enough and, you know, fortunate enough to have all the support from, you know, everyone and, you know, uh, contributions to the GoFundMe to help me and my uh, family to get our house back. Yet the process was long. But that didn't stop Duncan from returning to the property every day until she could once again call it her home. And that day arrived on November 6th. It was on me heavy for the last two years until actually seeing the house come together and then start seeing the outside, the inside. I started to feel better, but it was still a grieving process, you know. And like now when I come by, you know, I pull up, I'm like, whoa, that's our house now. While Duncan plans to keep small reminders from the destruction, she's grateful to move forward and once again have a place for her son to lay his head. And like I said, what's more important to me, being a parent and not having a place for him to come home to, like, you know, last night I tiptoed in his room just to look at him laying in his bed. So that was excitement to me. It's a happy time. You know, sometimes I sit in there, tears fall because I look around and see how blessed I was. Just think, you know, I just thank God for the Seminole family and everybody else that helped us and it's just a blessing.